Hi everyone, I'm Magic Dave, and this is Sapiens. Uh, that's the new name. Um, so when I named it Ambience, um, I didn't really know what this game was going to be about. Um, I just needed to come up with something to call it, because World Project was terrible. Um, Ambience was a bit better, but it's not really a good name for what this game is now. And that's a game about um, people and about you know us, how we evolved, how we be, you know. Um, learned how to craft and, and build and, and farm and, and I think Sapiens um, it just nicely kind of encapsulates that so yeah so I quite like the name and I think this will be what it launches with. So I'm just going to create a new world. Um, so it wasn't yeah I've also been working on fonts as you can see um, I changed the fonts that it just you know didn't really suit anymore um, with the new name and the new kind of direction um, and yeah, the next thing you probably notice is the new look. So yes, um, I spent about a week, or maybe a bit longer than that, um, redoing everything to no longer use the flat shaded polygon look. Um, everything's now rendered using smooth normals um, and with some extra kind of textures um, with sort of leafy bits that, that come out. Um, so this was... Um, Basically, due to the grass, um, I knew that was going to be a bit of a problem because I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't leave the trees the way they were. Um, so, yeah, I, I experimented with that for a few days before finally settling on this this look. I tried a few different things, and in the end, I just decided that ditching low polygon, flat shaded altogether was the way to go. Um, so I've ditched it both in the um, in the in the trees and also in the terrain, as you can see. So it's all smooth. Um, the borders between uh, types of terrain are still still hard. You know, the snow is still you know straight edged, um, and I think that fits fine. Um, I think I'll probably leave it like that. But yeah, so I think I've replaced all of the models with sort of smoother looks. They, most of them don't actually have many extra polygons um, in the base model. The, the the extra polygons are mostly coming from just how I extrude out the edges to put these um, leafy textures on. So there, there is a small performance impact, um, but it's not that major. Um, and I'm sure that I can actually improve it. I'm just waiting for my new PC to show up um, today, actually. Uh, and I'm going to start switching to developing on that instead of my Mac, so I can actually profile the graphics and find out what's going on. Um, it's basically, I'm just developing blind now with Apple ditching OpenGL support. Um, so the yeah like the apples look fantastic I reckon <laughs> I mean they're still like low poly really low poly you can see but they just look much more delicious now with the smooth normals and yeah um, so of course once I did that I realized that the um, people needed a bit of work um, they didn't look too bad just just straight taken from the flat shaded um, look and just adding smooth normals but they did need a little bit like basically a few more polygons just to sort of smooth things out a little bit more um, and as always this is a work in progress but um, yeah they're definitely definitely looking quite good actually I think like I really prefer this look a lot to the to, to the flat laid edge um, look as far as the people go um, and finally I have a woman <laughs> it's <laughs> very very cool to, to finally not have all the same guys um, oh and I guess you know I've got hair as well um, there's some some variation I don't know like oh there's still a guy with no hair over here um, I've got some long hair as well um, and so this is sort of like just a, a tribe that's um, randomly spawned um, so that's another new thing like so at the moment you know they're, they're all standing around doing nothing they're, they're going to actually be like busy doing their own little lives here um, and there's a number of them around you can just sort of okay over, over here's a couple I might mark them out a bit better oh, here's a long head guy um, so each tribe if you click on them will tell you the you know some information about the people who are there um, what their skill base skills are and, and sort of attributes and yeah, as you can see, you can then click to lead that tribe. Um, and so yeah, it, it, it's, it's a nice way I think to sort of start the game so you can sort of find a, a place that you want to start as well as um, you know, the people that you might want to start with. Like in this case, there's two women. Um, there'll be different mixtures of, of people, different ages, different, you know. Um, 
So yeah, it's just a nice kind of organic way of starting the game and I think it should scale pretty well. Um, so now I've got this new user interface um, to uh, build, like sort of switch between, I haven't, I haven't done that one yet, but switch between sort of everything quite easily, no matter what you click on. Um, I've got rid of the concept of a selected guy. Um, I just, that wasn't really working for me. So now to like move, you, you, you sort of do it like that. Um, so you sort of click on the person you want to move and then tell them to move. But all of those sorts of um, actions like chopping down trees and, and um, building and stuff just, just use um, the closest guy um, as before. I also worked on the um, rendering of objects in this user interface. Um, it's now using a much better um, um, shader and stuff that's much more close to what's happening in, in the game. Um, that has, it still doesn't have those edge leafy bits. Um, I still need to do that, but yeah, it also just sort of zooms out and everything. It took, took a bit of effort to sort of get that working, um, but it's yeah, a, lot, a lot better. Um, and obviously it's, it's working for the people as well. Um, so this interface, I've now got this um, skills section. Um, so you can then sort of choose for the research for a particular person to start working on. Um, so this is all pretty early stages yet, but the idea will be that you then click um, to, to learn and this little progress meter is going up. So he'd be actually trying to build fires. He'd be going grabbing branches, sitting down trying to rub them together and, and, and actually get a fire going. Um, yeah, so at the moment this is as far as I've got, but um, yeah, once I've got them actually doing that sort of gathering of stuff and, and, and you know, doing all that, then um, I'll make it so that you can't actually build um, the campfire here until until you've got the required skill. Um, and that's sort of the basis of, of the skill kind of research mechanic. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, pretty bare bones. And that, that user interface, by the way, this is all very, very temporary. Don't, don't look at these horrible buttons and things. Um, I'm going to improve this a lot. But um, yeah, it's good to actually finally have that, that sort of stuff working. And in doing all that, I realized I had all sorts of bugs to do with, like, um, like if you got someone to, like, let's just build a campfire over here. If you queue that up and then, like, go way over here, um, then everything would get unloaded and it would all just be terrible. Um, but I've fixed most of the bugs in that now, so, yeah, the server kind of keeps keeps things going as well. Like, so if you're disconnected, the server would keep keep doing all this while you're away and, and keep the areas loaded. Um, oh, she was just dragging a, a branch with her feet. Um, that's probably just a bug with that new model. That's fine. Um, so other things that I've worked on, um, graphically, I've increased the brightness a lot. Um, I actually found out that my monitor was calibrated inc incorrectly and people were commenting on the shadows being too dark and I was just like, what are you talking about? Um, it looks fine. And then I looked at one of the screenshots on my phone, get out of the fire. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying in the phone. Um, yeah, I had a look at the screenshots on the phone and um, it, they were right, it was too dark. And so I've really brightened it up a lot at this sort of time of day. I've also sort of improved that, that the skin was looking a bit shiny and stuff at night. And so I fixed a few bugs in the, in the shaders for that. Um, but all the same, I think I will make it uh, daytime again. So another thing that I've been working on is the shadows. Um, it's kind of a never ending battle, but I think it's probably pretty good now. Like, um, yeah, I've changed the technique that I used to sort of avoid Peter panning, which is where you know, shadows are offset too far from the object that's casting them. And um, yeah, there's another artifact where you get kind of weird uh, dotty sort of effects as well when it's on quite a you know um, when the sun's on a low angle to things like it is here um, and so those bugs seem to have all kind of gone away um, there are a few sort of little issues but basically I'm using the normal of the um, object I, I, I found this thing called off, offset offset normals I think was the technique and I didn't have a lot of success with that but then I actually reversed it so that instead of pushing the normals out I pushed them in and it worked really well, so I don't know, I, maybe that's, no, I don't know, it seems to work. Maybe I'll hit something <laughs> that, um, you yeah, know, some limitation to it, but at the, yeah, at the moment it's great. 
So yeah, I've added this little um, branch shelter as well. I'm just sort of thinking about, you know, when you find tribes, like they should have little shelters, but I don't, you, you can't dig yet. You don't have a spade. And so it's just, um, yeah, just figuring out how that's going to work. I'm not that happy with these yet, but that's, um, yep, something that's sort of heading in the right direction. So that's about it for um, for this video, I think. Um, yeah, it's it's great to have women in here. I'll be, I'll be adding children soon, probably, um, and just getting that whole. I'm really focusing on that that early stage of like how do you you know find the tribe and then just get them started and get things actually happening. So um, yeah, maybe well, I'm actually thinking within the next couple of months I'm going to have a sort of playable, enjoyable game. Um, it won't be very long, but yeah, I think there'll be enough sort of content and structure that um, yeah, there'll be there'll be a game. So that'll be cool because um, at the moment there's just not. <laughs> So hopefully, hopefully you like the new look and the new name, um, and yeah, we'll uh, see what crazy changes I've made in the next video. Until then, we'll see you next time.